Hi, it's Dorothy Guiney with Scrapbooking Quebec. Today I'm here for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and I'm going to be creating a 12 by 12 layout featuring the My Story collection by Simple Stories. This one is really quick and easy. So here's the material I've selected. I have paper and embellishments from the My Story collection. These products came from the Scrapbook Nerd online shop, so I will put links to the shop along with the products I use in the description box below. Now normally I start my process videos by sharing what's on my desk and explaining any preparation I did in advance. Not today due to a technical error. So I'm going to be jumping straight to the process. However, I didn't do any prep work and I will be using exactly what you see on the screen. All I add are Puppy Elvis from Pink Fresh Studio and two basic die sets, some nested rectangle dies and some leaf dies from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So let's jump right in, quite literally actually. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating a border for the right hand side of my page. So I'm going to cut down three strips of paper, three two inch strips of paper from three different pattern papers. And you can see for that bookshelf paper, I am using both sides of it. This wood grain paper is from a different collection. It's from the Woods Collection from Simple Stories. That collection comes with all different color wood grains. And the flip side is either lined paper or graph paper. I use it all the time and it will be listed and linked below. Also, what you see me doing right now is trimming down all of these two inch strips of paper. So two of them will be identical in size. One is a little bit shorter and I will put measurements for all of this on the screen a little bit later on in case you want to follow along. Basically what I want to do with that is kind of create a border with staggered pieces of paper. Now before I put them on the page you're going to see that I ink up each one of these strips of paper and the ink I use is what I most often use. It's called Morning Mist by Versifying Claire. It's like a smoky gray and when I create either a layered border which is what I'm doing here or a layered photo mat I do like to apply a bit of ink to each one of the different pattern papers when I'm using different pattern papers simply because I find by adding the ink it makes the different prints look nicer together. It just makes it look more cohesive. So you can see I continued inking up those strips of paper. Now I'm placing it on the page with my two photos. Now I am going to want to map my photos, but today I'm going to do it a bit differently. Instead of creating a map to place behind my photos, I'm going to create frames for these photos. I'm getting out these dies. Mine are from Stampin' Up! They are nested rectangle dies. And what I'm going to do is create a frame. So what you're going to see me do is place one rectangle inside the other, and then I will run it through my die cutting machine. Keep in mind this technique, which is really easy, can be done with any nested shape die. So you can do it with circles, ovals, squares, whatever you want. What I'm doing right now is securing them in place with a low tack tape because I do want them to stay put. I don't want them to shift around because I want the frame to be very equal. Um, if you are looking at the Scrapbook Nerd for nested dies, look in the die section and check under Waffle Flower. They have quite a few of them in all different shapes. I find nested shape dies extremely useful. And once you have them, you have them for life, you, as long as you don't lose them, of course. Anyway, I've had these ones from Stampin' Up! forever and I use them all the time. So you can see off camera, I created a second frame and I adhered them on top of both photos. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit more die cutting. I had this green paper there. I think the color is called Pine. I did get it at the Scrapbook Nerd and it looks very nice with this My Story collection. And what I want to do is cut out some leaves. So the dies I have here are from Elizabeth Craft Designs. The die set is called Ferns. And what I'm going to do is cut out a bunch of them. Now most of my embellishing for this layout will be done with the embellishments from the My Story collection. 
but when I create embellishment clusters, I often do a bit of die cutting basically to beef up my embellishment clusters. And in this case, leaves, which are very, very general, I'm going to place them in both clusters, which is going to beef up the clusters and add repetition to each one of these clusters as well. So I continue cutting out the leaves off camera. I'll show you that in a moment. First, I'm going to show you the title. So I use these alphas from Pink Fresh Studio. My title is going to be Morin Center Tour. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to place it right now, but I do know it's going to be towards the bottom somewhere. Also, here's my tray, and you're going to see I continued cutting out those leaves from Elizabeth Craft Designs. With a few of the scraps, I cut out some more. Those dies, I think, are an old set from Echo Park paper. The floral ephemera pieces you see there, I divided them by color and size. That's part of the floral ephemera pack from this My Story collection. I also have the chipboard pieces from this collection. I have the enamel dots handy along with tags. Those tags came from a cut apart sheet from this collection. And I also have the sticker sheet, which is from the collection pack. So, my plan here basically is to beef up that vertical border that's already there and to create a shelf along the, or I should say just underneath those photos there. My shelf is going to be made with my title along with other embellishing. So I'm just going to play with my border here, place my photos and start embellishing. So the first thing I'm going to do is find myself a tag and I go with this green one. It's a little short tag but I like it because there's a girl reading a book and these photos are taken in a library. I would like to put my journaling underneath at this point. That's what I'm thinking. Now I'm working on the shelf over on the left. So that row of books is from the chipboard collection. I really like it. I'm not quite sure how I want to place my title at this point. It's either going to be straight across or kind of one word on top of the other, which is eventually how I go with it. Now I'm coming in with those leaves. So here I go, putting them in each cluster, a great way to add repetition in each one of my embellishment clusters. And now I'm coming in with some of those floral ephemera pieces. And I do want to point out the floral ephemera pieces. At one point this summer, I cut out all the white edging around them from the ephemera pack. I was just bored watching YouTube and I, I don't like the white edging at all times on those pieces. So when possible, I like to trim them down. I also came in with another piece of chipboard up in the top right. You're going to see it in a moment, that pile of books there. And I'm looking in my sticker sheet right now. Now I find another pile of books with a cat on top of it. I happen to love cats, so I just kind of want to use that. I end up tucking it above that bookshelf up in the cluster on the left. Now at this point, I know I want to add some finishing touches, but I have way too many loose pieces on my desk. So I'm going to adhere what I've decided upon, and then I will go back and add my finishing touches. So I'm starting with this border over on the right here, one basically on top of the other, kind of bouncing them up and down. Before adhering my photos, I am going to add one tag. The one that I'm going to have popping out from the bottom for my journaling, I'm not going to adhere it right away. Basically, I don't know how much room my journaling is going to take. So when I adhere the photos, you're going to see that photo that's going on top of that vertical border. When I place the adhesive there, I'm careful not to put the adhesive at the very bottom because I know later on I'm going to end up slipping underneath that tag basically my journaling spot's going to be slipped underneath there so it comes out from behind the photo now what you see me doing is working on that shelf over there on the left and the adhesive i use to adhere those leaves is called sticky specs by ecstasy crap crafts i'm sorry it will be listed and linked below it basically it's a sticky sheet 
and you put a detailed piece on top of it and it picks up the adhesive. You're going to see me use it a little bit later on as well. So I also adhered my bookshelf down, a few of those flowers. Now what you see me doing is working on my title. So I'm starting at the top with Morin using my T-square as a guide to make it straight across. And again, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. I continue the rest off camera. And now what I'm going to do is work on that cluster in the top right. So once again, I'm coming in with that sticky specs tape there and sticking my leaves on top of it. It makes it really quick and easy to adhere leaves to a page. Then I will come in with that flower and once again that little bookshelf there or the little pile of books I should say, which is a chipboard piece. Now I am going to want to add some finishing touches here. I'm actually quite happy with it at this point. So I'm thinking maybe I want to beef up that cluster at the top with a few more leaves. I'm not quite sure about that at this point. And I need something to put inside the tag there. So I'm looking at the enamel dots. I end up going with a yellow one there. And then you're going to see me go into the sticker sheet once again. So I end up seeing a little teacup that gets moved. You'll see that at the very end, but I do stick in a teacup sticker up by that pile of books with a kitty cat on top of it. And I have this word sticker that says take note. Now you're going to see as well that gets dropped in the end and gets replaced with something else. But basically that is pretty much it. You're about to see my finished layout. And all I did off camera was add my journaling and I did move that teacup sticker. So I moved it from the bottom cluster up to the top right. Also, I replaced the black word sticker that was under the title with a tiny flower. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the Scrapbook Nerd YouTube channel, we would be thrilled if you did. The same thing for my channel, Scrapbooking Quebec. Make sure to check out the Scrapbook Nerd online shop for these fun surprise and much, much more. Take care and I will see you soon on YouTube. Bye-bye.